Hello there, this is Richard Spirits Gaiden. This is Psychic Force 2012 by Tai Dong on Sega's Dreamcast. Here's the Dreamcast dashboard. We've got some dancing icons. Very jolly. Um, yes, this is a Dreamcast game, also released on the PlayStation 1, I believe. Converted from an arcade machine, which was possibly bespoke arcade hardware. hardware. <laughs> Uh, this is lightning. I'm trying to say hardware and I couldn't say it. It was embarrassing, wasn't it? Uh, we have some dodgy looking 3D graphics in the background now. Some dirty texturing. Uh, we have psychic powers. We have a character with wings and a character with ant rings fighting each other in the sky. Um, which is all well and good. Uh, I believe that's what the game is. Is about it's a fighting game it's a 1v1 fighting game and what's unique about this game is your character flies inside a vector box vector like super futuristic vector graphics well i'm just looking at options here seeing if there was any sort of a uh, widescreen mode Looks like we've got arcade mode, story mode, training mode. This is my very first play of this game. I've never played this game before. Bought this recently. Ten English pounds. Ooh, we've got character select. We've got some anime badasses right here. Yeah, ten English pounds. And it wasn't a minty copy. It's got some scuffing to the manual. Gudeth. 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 He looks like an army man, but he's a flying army man. Yeah, 10 English pounds wasn't minty, but it is pretty cheap. I thought I'd give it a punt, see what's going on. I like fighting games. We have 3D backgrounds. We have three buttons to use. You've got punches. You've got a thing where he throws out a fireball. Um, ooh, press two buttons together, you get a throw. Oh, he's just dumped it onto a head. Uh, ooh, kicks. Ah, the other two buttons you press with the other, you can dash. It's exciting. You've got a blue purple energy bar and a green energy bar. I think the green energy bar is your health. The blue energy bar is psychic power. And at the moment, the Regina's psychic power looks like the same max. I don't know what that means for her. Um, it means death, because you death won. Uh, well, that was some slow-ass gameplay. Obviously, I've never played this before. It's fairly... Um, well, being the first character I'm fighting, obviously it's uh, given me a bit of a bit of leeway for the old AI. The 3D space that you're in, defined by the vector cube. Um, is irrelevant, because you can't move around in it. You can, it's like a... Um, Actually, this game could be top-down. It's weird. The way the characters walk around each other, there's no depth to it, even though it's a 3D space. It's crazy. It could, Like I said, it could be a top-down 1v1 fighting game, and it would give you the same effect. Right, um, I've edited something there because I was so bad at playing the game the first time. I'm now going to... This is like the fourth time I've played the game, and I'm a bit more used to it here. So we picked Carlo. Don't know what Carlo does. Haven't tried all the characters yet. And we've got the same background, which has cars going through it. Dirty texturing. I quite like the characters in this. I don't like the um, the wings on that character there. They're a bit crappy. But the other stuff's all right. Um, in terms of characters, the background's dirty, dirty texturing, which is not so pleasant. So every character looks like they've got some sort of projectile attack. Now this character's putting tetrahedrons all over the screen. Ooh, yeah. Just sort of fired on a face or something. Really weird. And uh, Carlo, he's got a twizzle attack. And a spiky attack. Don't know what that's about. If you hold three buttons together, you can charge up your psychic power. And uh, there he goes. Okay. Oh, he's like a neck breaker, and then he farts on a 
adding insult to injury. Time over. Um, in my short time of playing this game, time over does uh, actually happen a lot more than you'd imagine, just because it's difficult to get next to a character and actually fight them, which is potentially the whole point of the game. I've done some sort of massive spike thing there, I don't know what I did. I think I span the joystick 360 degrees and pressed a combination of buttons. He launched a massive psychic spike, which looked very painful to be on the end of, and it missed. Oh, just fired the universe. Well, wow, Carlo's got some moves. Yeah, this is um, going to take some getting used to. The fact that you can move around the screen in such a manner means that it is a range attack. Hmm. And has to be said, not super fun at the moment. So I found out you can do a super move, but spin kick, there's time over again. Won again by time over. No, I lost by time over. Right, we're gonna have to do better this time. Okay, get the things. Musically, game's not that exciting. Side effects are a bit... Well, they're quite sci-fi anime, they're all right. Animation's a bit stilted. The movement feels a bit wooden. Yeah, uh, there's no, no wonder that this game wasn't uh, the most popular game in the world. I don't know what the PS1 version is like. Dreamcast one though. Obviously it's got the Dreamcast resolution graphics, which are kind of nice. It looks like it's using PlayStation 1 textures for those wings. They're a bit naff. Uh, like I said, the backgrounds are ugly. So far, uh, the game's all right. I mean, I think in two... Ooh, just launched um, someone into the... Uh, into space via a large spike. And that was just stage one. Stage two's got to be even more exciting, surely. Mm, ten quid. There's a reason some games are cheap. Um, sometimes it's because they made loads of them. Uh, sometimes it's because they're not great. And I think this one falls into that category. It might be okay as a two-player game. Playing the AI character is fairly frustrating. And actually... With the graphics being so dirty, in the background at least, it's kind of not visually enticing enough to make me want to kind of play a bit more. So I bought a job lot of um, cheapy games that I've never played before, just to uh, just to find out what all the buzz was about because um, there's zero buzz making stuff up there. Oh, lightning! Right up the chuff, didn't like that. Uh, yeah, this, I've seen this game for sale for ages, and I've always wondered about it. And um, don't know if I should have bothered really. On the basis of this, I mean, it's okay. I quite like the character models. I've got to say that. I dislike what's going on here. Otherwise, visually, but the gameplay isn't particularly satisfying. I quite liked when that special move Spike connected with that lady and sent her miles away. A bit like fighting vipers. But firing projectiles at each other isn't as satisfying as punching each other in the face, essentially. So I think that's where this game has gone wrong. There's too much room to move around. Like I said, it feels like this should just be a top-down fighting game. Because the actual cube space that you're in, you can't move in depth. You can only move in one plane. So, what's the point? Answers on a postcard to Mary Whitehouse. Oh my god, that's an uh, old reference. Uh, lightning, lightning to the balls. Time over. Why did they make the textures in the background so black and dirty? bit strange and blurry as it happens. Don't know. Stage 3. 
Yeah. Oh, another dirty background. Dirty, dirty background. This time with animated gifs of lava and lightning. Well, this is like the end of um, Star Wars. Obi Wan takes on Anakin. I bet this fight's going to be as epic as that one. It's going to be 30 minutes of running around on uh, metal pillars, hitting each other with lightsabers, and jumping on robots. Or it's going to be flying around ineffectually inside cube space. Oh no, he's actually beating me. Oh, he's beating me with his fists. That's what we want to do. Fisticuffs. Yeah, flying around ineffectually inside a cube, space cube, for at least three minutes. Ooh. Killed him. Killed him with a spiky laser. Ooh, he's getting all cocky. No need for that, mate. Yeah. Okay, 10 quid. Not the best game ever. And Taito didn't really support the Dreamcast all that much, I don't think. We had some bust and move games. Uh, but on the strength of this, not selling, they probably thought, ah, oh, Dreamcast is crap. Without thinking that the game that they've made isn't all that. That's what I would say. So, yeah. Not awful so far. I will play it again, I'll give it another chance. But I, what I would say is, it's not as satisfying as, say, like Power Stone, which I believe came out at the same sort of time as this. And that's hyperkinetic and. Oh, Jesus! Just popped me with a. I don't know, some sort of space rock. Um, yeah, hyperkinetic and tactile feeling game. This is kind of floaty and a bit. Waffy, not not nice. So uh, it's Taito's own fault, really. Yeah, this flying around on business. Don't know. All right. Uh, ten quid. Probably not worth it. But we'll see. I'll give it another go. That's my first look at uh, Psychic Force 2012. All right then. Ta-ra.